Let's craft all night long and add custom recipes to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in the once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom recipes to Minecraft. And this is actually going to be a fairly straightforward process because once again, this is all done via JSON files. So in our data folder, inside of the tutorial mod folder, we're going to be making a new directory called recipes. Please make sure once again that this is written correctly. And then inside of there, we can just start making some recipes. So let's just make a recipe that's going to get a citrine block from nine citrine. So we're just going to right click new file and this is going to be citrine from block.json. So what you note is that the name of this file actually does not have to correspond to the name of the result. Usually what you want to do is you want this to describe what is happening. So basically we're going to get a citrine item from the block. So we're actually going to do it the other way around. So first we're going to get the nine citrine from the block. Then we're also going to make one where you get a block from nine citrine. So you can actually see at the bottom right corner, it actually notices that this is a recipe JSON file. So this might not happen for you automatically, right? So it might not actually see this. If this is not the case, then what you can do is you should be able to write in a mine, I believe Minecraft, you can put in Minecraft and you can see some data pack stuff is in here and you should be able to choose, for example, the not the loot table, but the recipe. And then it should also have some suggestions here. So if I start typing, you can see this is the type of recipe and then it actually suggests all of the types of recipes that are in there. So this might happen. So this might be the case that you have this. If you don't have this, you can always use two other resources. Resource number one is once again missile github io for the recipes right here. So you can change this as well and you can add the results over here. You can, you know, change the result and it's going to change right here. You can change the pattern, all sorts of things. So you can use this or of course you can go to the external libraries and all the way down here to net Minecraft project merge name, so on and so forth to the data folder, to Minecraft, and then to recipes. And here you have all of the recipes from vanilla once again. So everything is available to you. If you're like, well, how do I do blasting? Let's take a look at the blasting recipes from vanilla. And then you should be able to figure this out. No worries at all. I'm not going to type this out. I'm just going to copy this over. So this is going to be, as you can see, a shapeless recipe. And the ingredient is going to be a citrine block. So if we put one citrine block in any of the slots inside of a crafting table, we're going to get back nine citrine. That's as easy as this can be. Not, it's pretty much straightforward as it can be and no worries at all. I'm going to add the smelting and the blasting recipes here as well. And you can see they are also very, very straightforward as you can clearly see, right? It's blasting and smelting over here. You can determine the cooking time and the experience you get when you take out the ingredient that you're actually going to put in and then the result. So once you put, get out the citrine, this is how much experience you're gonna get. That is pretty much all that there is to it. And then the other way around, so if we want the citrine underscore block from citrine, right? Let's just copy this over. We're going to have to change this anyway. But now we can, for example, go into the external libraries and we're like, well, this is functionality that has already been added, right? So for example, uh, what might we do? Well, diamond, right? And you can see uh, when we actually take a look at this, we can be like, well, diamond, right? This is exactly it, right? You put in a diamond block and you get nine out of here, but we actually want it the other way around. So we want a diamond block from diamonds. So what we can just do is we can just copy this and then put it in here, right? So this is the citrine block. And now we just need to change all of the things in here. So let's just change this for a moment. And then I'm going to explain tutorial mod colon citrine, uh, citrine. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to put in nine citrine and you're going to get out of it the citrine underscore block. And you can see here's a pattern. Now this pattern represents the crafting table, right? So this is three lines and you can see this is the first row of the crafting table, second row, third row. So if I were to do this, then this is just how you would make a furnace, for example, just in this case, it takes in, you know, whatever we define here. And you can also define multiple keys. So for example, if I had another key, right, whatever F here, and maybe this is going to be the raw citrine, just for the sake of argument right here, then I can also add the F right here. And now what I would have to do is I would have to surround the raw citrine with citrine. So this is how easy it is able to be used. And once again, of course, you can look up. So for example, the dispenser, this would be the dispenser recipe, right? So you can see the hashtag here is cobblestone. So you put cobblestone like this. And then in the middle, you put a bowl. And then at the bottom, you put redstone. This is exactly how the recipe for the dispenser looks like. So you have everything available for you in the external libraries and also Missode GitHub IO 
highly recommended. And that is pretty much all of the craziness for the recipes. That's pretty much all you need. So for the sake of completeness, let's just go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. And let's first of all try to get the block. And there we go. We can get the block. We can get back nine citrine. And it will also appear right here. So you can see a block appears here and the citrine appears here. So it also appears inside of the recipe book. Pretty freaking awesome. And then the same thing should happen right here. So if I put in the raw citrine right here, you can see we can smelt this and then we can also blast it right here. I just need some coal. There you go. And exactly how we would expect this to work. There you go. We're going to get one citrine here and one citrine here. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what we want. And that's how easy it is to add some custom recipes to Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So yeah.